pleasure, pleasure to welcome each of you to the commencement exercises of the 124th graduating class of Clearwater High School. Would you please rise and join in singing our national anthem and then remain standing for the invocation which will be offered by Miss Jennifer Burke. to live deliberately, to front all the essential facts of life and see if I could not learn what it had to teach and not, when I came to die, discover that I had not lived. This is what I encourage all of my classmates to attempt to do as they leave cold water and go on to their futures, to find their personal meaning in life, live life to its fullest, and to live deliberately. In other words, to find their own words. Thank you. You may be seated. There are some special things about this class that need to be said before we proceed with naming the top ten in the valedictorian salutatorium. Seven years ago, we started a guarantee program that any student that received a diploma at this high school had mastered the basic skills in mathematics and reading. And I'm very pleased to say that all 177 of our graduates today have all mastered those basic skills and will be receiving a regular diploma. That's the first time that it has happened in seven years. <laughs> With these graduates also goes a guarantee. A guarantee that if they go out into the workplace or into college and they are not equipped with the proper skills, the proper work attitudes to be successful, they have a guarantee that they can come back up to two years and we will retrain them. And this is the second year that this has gone on. We have another first this year. For the second year in the row, we have placed four of our graduates on the Twin Valley All Academic All Conference team. No other school has been able to do that in the six year history of having an all conference team. And Miss Jennifer Burke, if you read the free press this year, was selected as the top class B student in the free press all state academic team. For Jessica. As some of you know, especially the parents, we wait until the semester grades for this last semester are in to compute the top ten and also the valedictorian and salutatorian. I'm going to ask that these students stand as I read their name. The top ten for the class of 1991 consists of Mary Davis, Katherine Heinbaugh, Dory Daly, Shannon Klein, Brian Demlo, 
Randy Holloway, and Jennifer Burke. Now, as you can see, there are only seven standing. We have a salutatorian and co-valedictorians. And so if Miss Julie DePew would step forward. Julie DePew is the salutatorian of the class of 1991. Besides her certificate and her honor pin, she receives a scholarship from the C. Lester Luce Scholarship Club. Dr. Rudley, Mr. Superintendent Wallace, Dr. Bushhouse, faculty, teachers, family, friends, and my fellow classmates. In all honesty, I can say that I believe I am not an unusually brilliant person. Bright, maybe. Brilliant, no way. I am, however, academically a very fortunate person. And I recognize that any success I have had is a result of having had excellent teachers in a safe environment and having been surrounded by significant classmates and friends. These teachers, friends, and the community deserve more credit than they will ever know. If I can speak of my school and my classmates for a moment, let me remind you that a school can only be as good as the community of which it is a part. Anyone aware of the world in which we live must certainly recognize the good fortune we have in being able to attend a school that is safe, pleasant, encourages excellence, and has a long tradition of graduating students who become real credits to our society. Cold water, we thank you. If you were to compare Cold Water's ACT scores, if you were to notice the number of national award winners in foreign language competitions, if you were to notice that this year we had four of the 16 Twin Valley all academic team members, as we did last year, if you remember that I'm not the first, but rather the second CHS graduate to enter the University of Michigan Medical School as a freshman, the first being Joyce Horn, <laughs> if you were to notice that yearly we have two or three National Merit Scholars, if you were to look back at our advanced placement scores, or at the number of our graduates who have successfully attended great universities, Northwestern, MIT, Harvard, the U of M, Purdue, Stanford, and Notre Dame among them. If you were to recall that for two straight years we have had a representative on the Detroit Free Press all academic team, I am sure you, would, you recognize that great educations, great backgrounds, great experiences are the rule not the exception at CHS. <clears throat> Let us also remind ourselves that even those students not achieving great scores on standardized tests or not attending great universities have, because of the academic standards and opportunities here at Coldwater, time and time again proven by their lives, their efforts, their accomplishments, that CHS and Coldwater have served young people well. Having praised the academic accomplishments of our school and recognizing the positive influence of our community, permit me to say some deservedly kind words about my classmates. I would so very much like to speak about dozens of them, but knowing that time will not permit me, let me speak of a few and hope that what I say will be representative of the many. Let us always remember the laughter, the humor, the quick wit that Mark Dean brought to our class and to our classrooms. Dory Daly. Does anyone have more class or work harder than Dory? 
we must all appreciate what Dory has done in a number of leadership positions. Richard Auten, for four years, perfect attendance. My God. <laughs> Kevin Neitzert, Scott Crabtree, Joy Strasser, Brady Lindsley, and the other great athletes who have brought excitement and victory to us in different sporting competitions. You made us proud. Katie Heinbaugh, has there ever been a more dedicated foreign language student? No class could ever claim to have a person as genuinely nice as Danielle Lippert. How anyone could have been in a bad mood with her in the room, or how we ever lost a sporting event with her as a cheerleader is unknown. Brian Demlo, Rod Patch, the Copeland brothers, Matt Krieger, Matt Cornish, Matt Downs. What a group. They speak for themselves, and then they speak for others. <laughs> we shall certainly never forget the courage and grace of Julie Depew. We are better people to have had her as a classmate. Our prayers remain with her. And in my case, a special note of thanks to the Burke family for permitting Jennifer to transfer to CHS from Quincy. She has been my constant source of understanding, friendship, and competition. Recognizing that until just a few weeks ago, Jennifer was still only 16 years old, one must wonder just what she will have accomplished by the time she is our age. <laughs> Having thus spoken from the heart about our school, the community, my classmates, let me briefly and therefore inadequately speak of our teachers. Because of time constraints and because I have only been able to have a fraction of the fine teachers here at Coldwater, I will have to leave out words of praise about many great and deserving instructors. Where do I start? Perhaps with Mrs. Ashdown, a truly great kindergarten teacher who got me started on the right foot. I must mention Mrs. Dogan, an inspirational English teacher who did so much for me at Leg Middle School. Es gibt keine bessere Deutschlehrerin als Frau Olsen. Mrs. Olsen has been my teacher for four years. I wish it could be 40. She held German classes that were demanding, but always fun. Mrs. Hart, a tough taskmaster, a great math teacher, and a woman with a heart of gold. She has given me and my family a lifetime's worth of support. I could never thank her enough. Mr. Petsko, a great world history teacher, a great model United Nations advisor, and a great friend. I cherish no award more than the Order of the Golden Crayfish, Mr. Bovee will forever be preserved in our memories as his frogs are in formaldehyde. <laughs> J'aime le français parce que j'ai eu un professeur qui est très bon et très intéressant. In a time when so many schools cannot find one good foreign language teacher, I am fortunate to have had two of the finest in the field. Whatever I say about Mrs. Odron is inadequate. I love her dearly and will miss her charm and her ever-present integrity. Show me a school that has a better physics and calculus teacher than Mr. Swan. Go ahead, show me. It can't be done. This is not hyperbole. Mr. Mullally, whether conducting discussions about novels, poetry, or college life, he has kept our AP English classes interesting, challenging, and very informative. A special note about Mr. Kiesler. Though he is no longer with us, and though I never had the opportunity to have a formal class with him, J.W. Kiesler has contributed much to our definition of spirit, loyalty, and community. He did so very much for me. I do not want to fail to mention Mr. Martinson, Ms. Biddlecombe, Mr. Ivy, Mr. Steele Scott, all great teachers. And among all of these fine teachers, the most influential of all is clearly my own father. 
His unending commitment to me and our entire family has meant more to my good fortune than any other single factor. My father's field is history, and appropriately, he has taught me a timeless lesson that a strong and loving family is the highest achievement. Thank you, Dad, for everything. I can sincerely say that I have had nothing but good and great teachers, teachers who offered far more than even the best textbook can. They offered intellectual achievement, insight, and inspiration. I thank them all. Let me conclude my remarks by recognizing what has assuredly been a very crucial part in my development and what I hope has been important to you, our families. I have always been able to find the support I needed in some member of my family. They have encouraged me to excel, to believe in myself and others. My brother Chad has always been a great model for me. I am so proud of him. My parents have given me the encouragement I needed, and at a young age they taught me that my gender would not hinder my path to becoming a doctor. They have had faith in me often more faith than I've had in myself. I want to thank my family and all of the families here for the time and energy that has been, de that has been devoted to each graduating senior. As I say goodbye to you, the class of 91, I recall that President Kennedy defined happiness as the full use of one's potential. I would like to add to that the idea that the key to achieving one's potential is a, con is a continued interest in education, formal and informal. Therefore, I hope we will re all remain committed to learning, to growing intellectually and spiritually, and thus live up to our potential and achieve ha happiness of the highest degree. Let my embrace of Dr. Bushhouse be a symbol of a universal embrace with all those individuals who have done so much for this class, so much for me. Thank you. That was excellent. A few years ago, President Reagan, in his efforts to bring education to the forefront, started the Presidential Academic Fitness qualifications for all students in the United States. And at Coldwater High School, those who met those basic requirements and those that we added to what the president began result in the naming of our presidential scholars, those students that have maintained a 3.3 grade point overall, 24 on the ACT, and completed all of the specified academic courses. <laughs> These individuals, and there are eight of them out of the class of 91, are identified in your program, but I would like them to stand as they wear the Presidential Scholar Medallion. <laughs> Shannon Klein, Michael Copeland, Kevin Dalkey, Julie Depew, Brian Fletter, Teresa Holt, Benjamin Sprague, and Joy Strasser. I wanted to give a speech that would be memorable. However, I realize that few here will remember what I have to say. <laughs> but that's not discouraging. The reason that my speech won't be memorable is that each person here has his or her own hopes and dreams, and their minds are full of these hopes and dreams. They can't wait to act on them. And now is the time for us to act on those dreams. We are ready to act on those dreams because we have been prepared by our families and teachers. Each one of our dreams is unique because each one of us is different. None of us is the same dream, and that's what makes each so special. My speech won't be remembered, won't be remembered well, because everybody is sitting here with his own hopes for the future. Every senior is sitting behind me with his own unique hopes. Every parent is sitting here with his or her hope of their son or daughter 
and they're remembering all the good, good and bad times they have had with their children. A door to the future is open, and we are ready to step into the new world. Last year, I went to the graduation ceremony, and I remember Jody Kahneman giving a speech. I do not remember what he said, but I do remember that during his speech, it began to rain. There was thunder and lightning, and, and the rain was pouring down. However, Jody did not stop. He kept talking till he finished his speech. He was ready to act and nothing could stop him. We too are ready to act, but to act we must leave the school and, fa and our families behind. Before we leave, we say thank you and farewell. It does not matter if you remember my words or not. What matters is that we remember the hopes and dreams we have today and that we carry them with us as we leave CHS. It is important that we not forget the fresh hope we take with us today. It is important that we not forget our dreams. It does not matter if my words are forgotten. Always remember your dreams. Thank you and goodbye. John Vance was a 1975 graduate of Coldwater High School, and we believe that he represents the highest standards of character and achievement to which all students should aspire. He was not just an athlete, nor an honor student, nor a student leader. He was all of these. On May 25th, 1982, John lost a year-long battle with cancer. In memory of John Vance, we, the faculty and staff of Coldwater High School, would like to honor a student who represents the high standards that John exemplified. This year, the Vance Award is presented to Brandon Lindsley. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, you do not know what an honor it is for me to be here today to present to the Board of Education the class of 1990 for graduation. It was just 38 years ago, not quite to the day, that I too, of being a graduate of Coldwater High School, joined the FAME Alumni Club that these people will be joining today. So with no further ado, will the class members of 1991 please rise. On behalf of the faculty and administration at the high school, I present the class of 1991 to the Board of Education and in doing so, certify that each member has met the requirements for a diploma and is entitled to all of the rights and privileges heretofore. By the authority of the state of Michigan vested in the Board of Education and by them delegated to me as president, I hereby confirm upon you the diploma of Coldwater High School. Please be seated. Will the graduates please come to the platform to receive the diploma? Please be seated. Co-valedictorian of the class of 1991, Jessica Jo Johnson. Co-valedictorian of the class of 1991, Presidential Scholar, Benjamin Andrew Sprague. <laughs> Salutatorian, Presidential Scholar, Secretary of the class, Julie Marie Depew. <laughs> Vice President of the class of 1991, Jennifer Burke. Brian William Demlo. <laughs> Dr. 
Jeffrey Todd Boyle. Presidential Scholar, Michael Paul Copeland. Wesley William Wade. Nicholas J. Seiler. Drew Allen Biber. Frank James Brown. Eric Eugene Westfall. Kevin Lee Price. Lauren Michael McLaughlin. <laughs> Stephen Bell Vrablick. Catherine Ann King. Amy Lynn Cope. Janice Noel Furman. James Franklin Kraus. Kevin Barry Palmer. Richard Otto Auten. Darren G. Seekander. Todd Gerald Nowicki. Patrick J. Birch. Joel Christian Zepka. Joni Elizabeth Rogers. Hang Hui Trung. Michael Patrick James. Randy Allen Holloway. <laughs> Presidential Scholar, Joy Rochelle Strasser. Mary Jean Davis. Penny Lee Sheets. Megan Ann Deloach. Catherine Marie Halberstadt. Cindy Renee Van Blarkham. Jennifer Suzanne Moore. Pedro Alfonso Alcazar. Brian Scott Gorney. Matthew David Mativia. Sean Patrick Blanton. Carl J. Thorne. Joshua Ian Hauk. Steve Lyle Barnes. Michael Jason Eaton. Courtney Lee Fillmore. Kayleen Marie Ankney. Troy Levi Williams. Karina Jane Smathers. Julie Ann Herman.
Michelle Lynn Stickney. Kimberly Lynn Smith. Chastity Ray Boger. Lara Marley Sharp. Stacy Marie Longgardner. Dorita D. Klein. Hope Renee Miller. Bridget Lee Bowman. Aaron Noel Baster. Angela Marie O'Halloran. Lori Lynn Knowles. Wendy Sue Musgrove. Nicole Lynn Roloff. Shanrette Shindasi. Michelle Renee Temples. Angela Marie Wasikowski. Tina Marie Counterman. Sandra K. Melton. Luann Draper. Lori Marie Crawford. Judy Lee Browse. Stacy Lynn Southcott. Mark Allen Rumsey. Eric Devin Reese. Brian Earl Garris. Byron Stewart Gallup. John Leon Kleckner. Presidential Scholar, Kevin James Dalkey. Joshua Lynn Snyder. Kimberly Sue Clark. Nicole Denise Greenlee. Marcy Joe Stevens. Gail Elizabeth Cornish. Annette Lynn Mitmesser. Camila Overball. Daniel Scott Smith. Kevin Scott Neitzert. Britt Allen Moore. Scott Douglas Crabtree. <laughs> Thomas R. Wagner Jr. Yay, Tom! <laughs> Preston J. Ward. Christopher Allen Spence. T. 
Tammy K. Smith. Jamie Ann Lothamer. Kathy Jo Seckler. Julia Ann Pizzanti. Terry Sue Lou. Robert Francis Copeland. Angela Lynn Rowe. Jody Lynn Stout. Christopher Douglas Pollock. Gregory Allen Whitty. Matthew, Matthew Vance Downs. <laughs> Presidential Scholar Brian Matthew Fletter. <laughs> Matthew David Krieger. Braden Joe Lindsley. <laughs> Troy Allen Malabi. <laughs> Stephen Neil Glover II. <laughs> Rodney Dale Patch. Mark Allen Dean. Matthew David Cornish. Wesley Thomas Miller. Michael Eugene Wendorf. Antoinette Maria Iraqi. Stacy Marie Marson. <laughs> Presidential Scholar Teresa Renee Holt. <laughs> Christy Rose Malatinsky. <laughs> President of the class of 1991, Dory Ann Daly. Presidential Scholar, Shannon Nicole Klein. Mashan Rebecca Earl. Heather Lynn Ivey. Christina Vinice Lewis. Danielle Autumn Lippert. Suzanne Marie Drummond. Carrie Michelle Speaker. Jamie Lynn Borer. Shelly Marie Tom. Sandra Ann Kontowski. Mardia Lynn Williams. Catherine Lorraine Heinblau. Carla Paredes. <laughs> Alina Windblad. Carla. 
Amy Denise Decker. Kelly May Wilbur. Amy K. Vix. Jennifer Marie Gleason. Angela Lynn Edwards. Darcy Yvette Hoy. Marlene Jeanette Cross. <laughs> Ashley Suzanne Corret. <laughs> Jennifer K. Dressel. Treasurer of the class of 1991, Pamela Ann Baroni. Jenna Christine Smith. Kimberly Ann Woodward. Sarah Catherine Parks. Chad Alton Looper. Nathan Luttrell Johnson. Damon Ray Kramer. Matthew Ashley Carpenter. Michael Keith Woods. Mark A. Dutcher. Matthew David Olmsted. Scott Wayne Lennon. Mark Ryan Kennedy. Bradley Allen Michael. Brian Earl Smith. Matthew Robert Rogers. All right, Matt. Paul Michael Walker. Andrew 
Aaron Lynn Wilson. Eric Allen Wilson. Jameson P. Doty. Clifton C. Ward. Rick Jason Jakeway. Members of the class of 1991, I welcome you as alumni of Coldwater High School. Would you please rise at this time to be presented to the audience? Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 1991. The sad fact is, there's better things to do. <laughs> <laughs> 